Each kid has a buy. I need LaFungo versus Janeo. Go to team LaFungo versus Janeo. <laughs> LaFungo and Janeo. I, I did not plan this. That is a great matchup. I, <laughs> I love the names. Cool. <laughs> you, you have a buy. Woo! Game one of the buy club. Yo, what's up? And I need Dross versus Mike Monday. Dross and Mike Monday. Go to TV oh, 14. And Tarps has a buy. And I need Flyer versus Crab. Initiate Wait, enemy hey, guys, Flyer guys, Crab. Hey, I, I made hey. that up. That's how you Flyer versus Crab. TV. Hurry up, computer. TV 15. Elvis has a buy, and I need Colors versus yep. On Full Tilt. You need to see? Colors and On Full Tilt. Go to TV 16. I got a buy, and I need Dio versus Speed. Go to TV 17. Dio and Speed. All right, we're going to have Hype versus Ted Green, not Green. Sorry. Just bracket, you know. What's up? I need NA Jed versus the Darren. NA Jed versus the Darren. Go to TV 18. NA Jed versus Darren. Kanye East has a buy. I got a buy. I got a buy. Alex versus worst of all time. Worst of all time is a great tag. <laughs> Um, fun, fun fact, in that tournament I hosted in Dublin, I lost to a guy named The Worst. Really? So I lost worst. to it. Worst. Worst. <laughs> Hobo versus Hoboa. Hoboa? U-B-O-A. Alright guys, we're going to do a real hushed commentary right now. Yeah, we're going to, because the matches are being uh, announced right now, so we're going to yeah, whisper. Yeah, yeah we're going to whisper. We're going to be real quiet. Real seductive commentary. Mono versus T3 we got our man, Ted. 21. You can, you can and we got our man Ted Green on the mic. On the game. <laughs> All right. Alrighty, so we got Hype versus Ted Green. We got the Ivy Sword Boy matchup. I like it. Yeah, you both very rangy characters. Yeah, they're kind of both, both uh, slightly less uncommon, more uncommon characters. Right, because why choose Roy when you got Marth? Oh, yeah, Roy's got fire, and that's super effective against Ivy Sword. Wow. <laughs> nice forward smash there by Ted, uh, by Hype. Ooh, good edge guard with the neutral Yeah, Hype beast. showing off his movement. He's keeping that edge. Ooh, covered. nice back air. Ted Green really struggling to get anything started. Um, I was playing friendlies with Hype earlier, and he was great with follow-ups and covering your options. Yeah, I haven't played him since the first week, so I don't actually remember. He's pretty good. He could be a threat. That was yeah. a beautiful back air. Good back air. air. He's kicking, he got control of the stock. Got, uh, Ted's got to figure out a way to open up some space. Good new, good forward air. Maybe use some razor leaves. We're not seeing any razor leaves. <laughs> yeah, he's not throwing good razor leaves. You're, you're right. And Roy's, uh, Roy, Roy's recovery is so deep, the sword goes through the stage. Pretty hard to edge guard. Right. Edge hogging is generally effective, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to get underneath him. Uh, somebody like Ivy Sword should be able to do it with back air. I'm really confused as to why there's no leaves on the screen. Nice raw forward smash. Yeah, from just the caught him out of kind of caught him out of a jump. And now we're relatively even. <laughs> <laughs> nice back air. Nice. I really like Roy's up tilt. Covers everything. Ted really struggling to get anything started. Ooh, back airs for days. Too pretty this movement. Man knows how to wave dash. Neutral air, up air. Ted Green really struggling with the pressure, it seems like. A lot of good spacing. Ted Almost really rolls into that forward smash. Yeah, he really loves throwing him out when he least expects it. Down tilt, popping up Ivysaur. A little too high for follow-ups. Ooh. Your matches, come over here. Only come when you're done with your matches. Forward come airs. Match Forward air. And the back air. 
All right, we got a down tilt. I think he was trying to reverse that dancing blade. Yeah, yeah, he was. I would love to see that go super well. Ooh. That would have been an interesting punish. Would have killed for sure. Really unconventional Ivysaur. Not seeing a lot of vine whips. Yeah. Not he, seeing a lot of razor leaves. Using a lot of forward air. Using a lot of forward tilt. Using a lot of forward smash. All the forwards. Playing like a Marth player. <laughs> he might have picked the wrong character. <laughs> <laughs> but it's two to one. And as someone who is wrong said, a stock is not a lead. Someone who is wrong <laughs> said, because the stock is a lead. <laughs> it might not mean that you're going to stay up. Oh, wow. Ooh, Ooh. Covers the upper option. Very nice. Yeah, te uh, te uh, Ted just running right into that sword. Hype is feeling himself, dancing with those neutral airs. Oh, again, he runs into it. Yep, that's a, that's a handle. He took it handily. Hype took it handily. Uh, Ted Green playing like he's playing Smash 64. There's no such thing as a forward B, bud. Ain't no such thing as forward Bs. Just remember to use the new stage list. Green Hill Zone is neutral. It should be marked on most TVs. If you don't know, so what's cool about Smashing Grounds, if you guys are new, is that we rotate our stage pools every season. This is season three, so our neutral stages are Fountain of Dreams, Battlefield, the bottom row, basically. Pokemon Stadium, Final Destination, Smashville. Green Hill Zone is a different one. Um, All right. Going to WarioWare. Yeah, Roy's going to be able to kill really fast on this stage, too. I mean, it's yeah, definitely neutral stage, but, like, mm. I'm, I would be scared to be to be an IV on this stage. What I'm interested in seeing is if he gets Roy to the upper platforms. I know Ted hasn't been really using it, but up B would be a great option. That's true, yeah. No, I mean, it's a good IV stage. I'm not, I'm not denying that at all. It's just, it's just both a good. Yeah, it, I would be scared with Roy. I mean, I would take advantage of IV, IV's better recovery. Nice pick up there with the back air. Yeah, while he was in front of him, too. Really cool. Yeah. He, he seems to have a pretty good understanding of where his hitboxes are. Yeah. Uh, which is cool. All right. Kind of feeling each other out. Um, Try to go for that KO throw with the up throw, which does kill at, at higher percentages. Mm. But Ooh. Ooh. He loves that neutral B. Good as usage a of the neutral B, for sure. I was just saying, Ted is playing this game like a Smash 64 without any forward Bs. <laughs> 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 That's true, he's not. He we, he's we've had a lot of Melee players transition to Project M. We've had a lot of Brawl players transition but to no Project 64 M. Players. But this is our first 64 player. <laughs> Ted's got a cool hat. Fun fact. Uh oh! Again, every time. Wow, that neutral B goes through the platform. That's crazy. Yeah. This is a great Roy stage. Good call. Yeah, every time Ted and Ted keeps on, um, like basically eating the, the jumps. Like he jumps right into that charge one. Um, it's a good mo uh, move by Hype, but Ted Green needs to adapt to those charge neutral Bs and is, not be underneath those platforms. Right. Ted is playing this game as if Ivysaur would have the spacing advantage even without Razor Leaf, but he doesn't. Roy is yeah. really good about spacing, That's and right. he's really feeling the heat. No pun intended. He's on fire. <laughs> he punishes the no tech with the back air. It's all about them tight matchups. Another wow. Good back air. Crazy back airs. He really knows exactly if it's going to hit or not. Yeah, he hasn't missed one of those. He hasn't been whiffing them. Okay, I... <laughs> commentator's curse. Yeah. Commentator's curse for sure. Yeah, yeah. All right. Know some combos. Good good three-hit combination. He's charging uh, up his soul. Ted is choosing not to edge guard, just to charge Next in his up, face. I mean, <laughs> These are 1990. Card, Can you line somebody up from stream, too? Cause it's, this is yeah. Forward tilt. Cool. Yeah, uh, like Apollo said, uh, that up B reaches across the stage. It's hard to punish like that. The best option is really to go for the edge hog if you can get it. But even then, it's like it lasts a lot longer than Mars, and he's going to eat it again. That's been like... It's five, super effective! Five of those that match. Really dominating play by Hype. Great, yeah. Great set by Hype. Bringing the Hype. 